Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and you know I'm going to say it, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God on this ninth day of August. Oh, my goodness. Time is moving, friends. Time is moving. Are you are you keeping up with time? Are you being obedient? Are you doing what God has told and designed for you to do? Okay, I just threw that in. I just threw that in. I just thought I'd ask this morning, okay? Well, I tell you, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing right here on the CBC Radio Show this morning. And we just thank you for tuning in. We thank you for listening to the CBC Radio Show. To all of my listeners on iHeartRadio.com, thank you so much for tuning in to the CBC Radio Show. It is a joy. It is an honor. It is a blessing to be here every single Sunday right here on Hallelujah 1600. AM radio. Well, friends, we've got a great show, but hey, we do every week, thanks to the, the glory and the anointing of God. Our guests today this morning include Reverend Rodney Francis, who is the executive director of the Youth and Family Center and also the pastor of Washington Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church. So blessed to have him here in our studio, along with Mr. Joshua Ray Davis, the president of the board of of directors of Youth and Family Center. What a blessing to have both of those gentlemen here. They're going to talk about an event coming up on September 3rd at their location. You're going to hear and be excited about that. We're also talking this morning with Mrs. Angela Claybon, the Chief Executive Officer of Myrtle Hillier Davis Comprehensive Health Center Incorporated. Let me tell you, she's going to talk about the second annual gospel brunch that we just had this past Saturday, And I want to tell you, friends, we had a great time. It was awesome. Oh, my goodness. I felt like a kid in a candy store because we were talking and praising Jesus. OK, as I was the MC of that event, it was absolutely stellar. So she's going to be on the program to talk about that and also great things that are coming down the road for Myrtle Hillier Davis Comprehensive Health Centers. Also, we're going to be talking with Apostle. C.V. LaFleur of St. Elizabeth Temple and Harvest of Glory Ministers. Her holy convocation is coming up on September 9th, 10th and 11th. It is something you don't want to miss in Caseyville, Illinois. It's going to be a great blessing. And we got some other things to talk about. Now, you know, I can't tell you everything. You got to keep listening as I know you are. I also want to encourage you that if you have not given me a call in regards to the TD Jakes Megafest bus trip, what are you waiting for? We're going to have a phenomenal time. You know, friends, I've been telling people that, yes, of course, when our feet hit the ground in Dallas, Texas, from August 19th through the 23rd, we're going to have an amazing time. The workshops, the woman thou art loose, the manpower, the mega youth, the mega kids is going to be just extraordinary. But I want you to know that I believe that God is going to do some amazing things on the bus. You hear me? On the way down there. You can't have that many saints, that many folks loving on God and he not show up in some manner. So I'm expecting a great Holy Ghost time on the bus as we go to the T.D. Jakes Megafest. All right, so I want you to travel with me. We're going to have a great time. Give me a call at 314-270-2225. It is upon us, but you can still go. Give me a call, 314-270-2225. We're talking about round trip bus fare Four days, three nights accommodations at an excellent hotel, conference registration, and five meals. Huh. Yeah, that's what I said. That's all that is included in this great, great getaway. So give me a call, 314-270-2225. All righty, I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we're going to be talking with Reverend Rodney Francis and Mr. Joshua Ray Davis. So stay with me. I'll be right back. 
Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC radio show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking about an amazing event that is coming up very, very soon, and I'm so blessed this morning to have in the studio Reverend Rodney Francis, the Executive Director of the Youth and Family Center, and also the pastor of Washington Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church, along with Mr. Joshua Ray Davis, who is the president of the Board of Directors of Youth and Family Center. I want to say good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I didn't prep you all on this question. All right. Okay. So uh, you all decide real quick who's going to answer this question. All right. Or you might say it at the same time to answer. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Amen. Yes, it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. I did know that. Yes. You definitely. did? Okay. That's yeah, right. Rejoicing? That's right. Oh, a rejoicing in the Lord. And you're glad in it. Glad, glad to be it. here. All right. All right. Prepare That's great. Prepare That's great. That's right. Well, you know, Reverend Francis, we're so excited about the upcoming event on September yes. 3rd with Youth and Family Center. Yes. But before we get to that, tell our audience about that phenomenal organization. Youth and Family uh, Center is a wonderful community service agency that has been in the North St. Louis city community, serving that community for over 125 years. Comes out of the settlement house tradition, first started to serve German and immigrant, uh, German and Polish immigrants migrating into St. Louis. But it had a mission that no matter who lived in this near north side of St. Louis, it was going to be there to serve those families. And for 125 years, they have been located in that community in the fifth automatic ward of near north downtown St. Louis. Yeah, and I started with the agency about seven years ago, and it was a when I met the organization and the board of directors, and saw their mission. I I was I was called to do this work at this center to help youth and families to become stable and to receive the support and the service that they need to continue a, a holistic life. You know, that is amazing, Reverend Francis, 125 years. You know, so often I'll tell folks when they say they've been married 50 and 60 years, I say some <laughs> folks can't stay together 50, 60 days. Right. And for 125 right. yeah. years, that's only yeah. God, isn't it? It's only God, yeah, yes. absolutely. The Lord has been with the organization, with the agency, through the ups and the downs. A lot has happened yes. in those 125 years. And uh, it, it and as you know, it works continue. It works continue. It is a United Way member agency, mm-hmm. uh, one of the charter members. and. And so uh, much of our support comes from the United Way and the rest comes from uh, uh, grants and, and uh, uh, fundraising events like sure. the one we're getting ready to talk about. That's soon. right. That's right. We want to get to that, Mr. Davis, as the president of the board of directors of Youth and Family Center. Your heart is in this organization, isn't it? You know, I, actually, it is. And, and one of the things that drew me to the center is organizations like the Youth and Family Center that actually saved me. Um, I grew up in St. Louis City. Mm-hmm. I had two parents. Dad worked two, three jobs. My mother worked. So when I got out of school, I was always looking for something to do. And it's organizations like the Youth and Family Center that helped raise me. When they yes. said it takes a village, it helped raise me once I got out of school. Yes, but that's where my yes. passion is, is giving back. Wow. Yeah. And, and and that's a, truly what is needed. And I believe this first annual fundraiser is a part of that, isn't it? It, <laughs> it is. It mm-hmm. is. It is. Uh, it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, I appreciate the board of directors, uh, Mr. Josh Ray Davis, the best president on either side of the Mississippi, hands down, (laughs) hands down. Uh, Brother who has been engaged in his work, committed to this work. He and uh, Ms. Janetta Hill, who is uh, the chair of our development committee, uh, have worked very hard to work with our board of directors, who are a committed group of men and women professionals Mm -hmm. who are committed to the well-being of our kids. And this is the first fundraising event 
of our agency in quite some time. And so we're hoping that this is going to be an annual event, but we're so excited about having gotten to this point and looking forward to this event. Wow. Well, well tell us, what is going to be going on on September 3rd, Mr. Davis? The theme is called Rio Carnival. Mm-hmm. And we know that a lot of other organizations have annual events, but we wanted to do something different. We mm-hmm. wanted to do something exciting, uh, interactive, um, something engaging. And when they come to the center, they're really going to be thrown over into Rio de Janeiro. Mm. And we're going to have the Carnival theme. We're going to have the colors. We're going to have the excitement because we wanted people to understand the work that we do is exciting and it's colorful. And we try to help enlighten our families' lives. And that's what Rio Carnival is going to do. And with wow. it being our first annual event, as Reverend Francis said, or the community partners are important. And that was one of the reasons that we're also here. We have a community partner in uh, Home State Health. Yes. Home State yes. has partnered right. with us earlier on this year with a, um, a Healthy One program right. where they were uh, promoting um, healthy eating for our kids. Mm-hmm. And they're also going to be a partner with us for this event. And we're excited. And we need more community partners like Home State. Yeah. Indeed. Home State <laughs> Health is doing a, a, a great work across this entire state of yes. Missouri. Yes. You know, and so we, we really want to say a, a special thank you to uh, the president, uh, sh- Mrs. Shannon Bagley, and of course, Adela Jones. Yes. They're doing oh, a yes. great, yes. great work. Yes. You talk about uh, when I when I use that term boots on the ground, that's what <laughs> I think about with Home State Health. They are really doing it. Now, Reverend Francis, tell us, how can people be a part of this event? Well, there's multiple ways uh, we invite the community to become a part of this and help us to uh, um, secure the funds we need for our programming. One is sponsorship packages. There are various levels Mm -hmm. um, from Captain, uh, a $25,000 major sponsorship, Mm -hmm. right on down to uh, a single ticket person who can come in for $100. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's going to be an amazing event um, where you're going to come in and have this experience as, as uh, Mr. Josh Ray Davis said you're going to be taken back oh. um, but what we want to really highlight as you are uh, enjoying the sounds and the smells mm-hmm. and, and all of the textures and colors that come along with being in Rio, Rio de, de Janeiro uh-huh. We're going to also give you a chance to see how the agency is, agency is impacting the lives of young people that we serve every day. Gotcha. Um, our main focus and concern is about our children and, and supporting them and our families whom we serve. Um, and you're going to get a chance to see the kind of amazing work that we're doing in helping kids to stay in school and to graduate from school, to get into college and get through college, and, yes. and how we're helping our senior citizens to, have ind- to maintain their independence and their residence and we have a uh, sickle cell disease and awareness program mm-hmm. that Home Health, uh, State Health has been very helpful with us yes. uh, in that program. And so a lot of programming things that you'll be able to see the impact of where your dollar will be going uh, from being a part of this uh, fundraising event. And, you know, that's so important because, uh, as I believe, um, Youth and Family Center is really a legacy organization. Yes. And so... Uh, Mr. Davis, you're planting seeds in youth, seniors, families for years to come. Right. As you said, it's been a difference in your life. Yes, yes. And, and you know, one of the things that uh, people ask me and they ask me why, um, individuals, whether they be teens, even our seniors and our adults, uh, sometimes they don't know how to ask. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that we do, we're kind of like the voice. Mm-hmm. You know, we're kind of like the vehicle yes. to help stabilize those lives. And and even as our, our president says sometimes, he wanted to equal the playing field. Yes. And that's what we're trying to do. And, and that's one of the things that we've coined. We're going to be recognizing some community uh, individuals, and we're going to call it the Equalizer Award. Because mm-hmm. these individuals are leveling the playing field, and they're, they're giving our, our families – equal access to resources, which gives them equal access to quality living. That is really a great blessing. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, I'm talking with Reverend Rodney Francis, who's the executive director of the Youth and Family Center, along with with Mr. Joshua Ray Davis, the president of the board of directors. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, you know, one thing that I've, I've learned is that community involvement is essential. Yes. 
to keep something like this going. And for over 100 years, you really yes. have it for this center. Uh, if you were to say to people who are just tuning in right now, uh, Reverend Francis, and, and, and perhaps they, they have not been familiar, but they want their children, they want their family to be involved, how can they do that? Can they contact you? How can they yes. get in contact with you and come down, take a tour, things like that? We would love for them to come and take a tour. We are currently located in the former Cochrane Community Center mm -hmm. in the Columbus Square neighborhood of near North Downtown um, and at 818 Cass Avenue. We recently renovated the building. Those who have been into it, been in the building before will, will uh, you know, will immediately recognize the upgrades and the differences. Wow. Uh, we put in a skylight over the atrium uh, <laughs> of the building to bring in a whole, you know, to bring in natural lighting, which yeah. just changed the entire atmosphere of that building. Um, so come down and, and see the work that we've done to make it family friendly and a, a place of fun and learning for our kids. Um, so you can come there, uh, come there at that at, at any time mm -hmm. uh, from between eight and five to take a tour, and we'll be happy to do that. And our number is three one four. Two three one 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 four seven. Again, three one four two three one 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 four seven. You can also reach us on our website at t h e y f c dot org. The Youth Family Center dot org. Um, and you can go and friend us on Facebook, and there you will find all of the wonderful pictures of summer day camp and after school we had a robotics camp for middle school uh, young people and a basketball camp for oh um, middle school age young people and you'll see them out at the science center you'll see them yes. out at the zoo you'll see them all over the city as mm -hmm. a part of our summer day camp traveling experience um, uh, giving them a fun learning environment so those are the ways you can uh, reach out to us uh, uh, and come in and, and help us with this work well, it, it sounds absolutely phenomenal, mm -hmm. the work that you you all have been doing there for over 100 years. Uh, Mr. Davis, now, I, I know that, uh, you know, your duties are vast. <laughs> uh, you know, as a successful businessman, you know, you also bring uh, that to the table for what you do uh, at Youth and Family Center. That has really helped you, hasn't it? Uh, yes, it has. One of the things that you always have to, to keep in mind is when you are a, a not-for-profit a certain percentage of your funds, as Rodney said, uh, comes from the United Way, mm -hmm. which is why this event is so important, because we, we're going to be contacting uh, some of our community partners. We've sent out packets to some of our community partners, and we're going to be expecting and asking those community partners to come and just help us continue to, to raise um, our families and help us with our seniors, help us with our youth. Mm -hmm. Because, again, every dime that we get, it comes from United Way and all our community partners. Having the business piece, it allows me and Reverend Francis to keep an eye, of course, on our bottom line. Sure. Because sometimes our visions and our thoughts are mountain high, mm -hmm. but our budget sometimes is on the ground. Right. So a lot of times we have to meet in the middle and keep things on the ground, which, again, is why we— uh, need our community partners to help us continue the work, continue God's work, and continue to raise this community. Yeah. So, yes, that piece <coughs> helped a lot. Oh, yes, yes. I know you also mentioned about your involvement in um, uh, Ferguson, the city of Ferguson. Can you tell us briefly about that? Uh, yes. Uh, I've actually, um, my wife and I, Lisa Davis, we own two businesses in Ferguson. We've been over there 25 years. Best insurance agency and always love and care in home care agency. Mm -hmm. uh, I am the chairman of the newly formed Dalewood Ferguson West Larson Business Association, which was established um, uh, after Mike Brown's death to have the business owners involved in the process. It's no secret that uh, a lot of individuals have come into Ferguson and we're looking for uh, a lot of redevelopment and we're looking for a lot of, of growth in that area. And we formed a newly um, uh, business organization so that we can be uh, a part of that process and actually be at the table to talk and, and have uh, involvement in what's going to be happening along the West Florissant Corridor. Wow, that's amazing. I tell you, Reverend Francis, you've got some good folks on your team, don't you? Oh, very good folks. I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Davis and his leadership on the board ha has been invaluable mm -hmm. uh, to the agency and a reason why um, I get up every day and am grateful to God that, that I get up to serve the community uh, in the capacity that I do, and he has been very supportive of that. And while we're talking about the Ferguson, and this is the anniversary of the Mike Brown yes, yes. Uh, tragedy, 
tragedy in Ferguson. Um, you know, the role that Youth and Family Center plays is all, all of our programs are prevention. Mm-hmm. They're designed to prevent our young people from going down, from going, going down wrong paths, yes. and they're designed to prevent our families uh, from becoming transient and mm-hmm. unstable mm-hmm. and helping our kids uh, get uh, through school and into college. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the prevention end, and uh, and all of the research now has shown that, that our community need to invest more resources on the prevention end so that we don't we have less Ferguson's happening in our communities. Right. Uh, and, and so so, um, that philosophy hasn't always been the case, but now we see the value in investing on the front end yes. so that our young people can have the choices that they need uh, uh, and have the resources that they need to become successful yes. in life and in school and in life. So I wanted to bring that out. And that's excellent, too, Reverend Francis. I love what you said. Prevention. Yes. Oh, yes. Prevention. Yes. We're just about out of time, gentlemen. Mr. Davis, in closing, is there anything that you'd like to share from your heart about this organization and the involvement with the community? Uh, yes. Uh, what we are looking for, again, is it, it takes a community to do what we do. We're one small organization and a part of a lot of organizations, and we look for our community partners to really support this event on, on September 3rd at the Youth and Family Center. And then you can go to the YFC.org. And we, we love everyone and we hope everyone continue to love and embrace our organization. Thank you so much. Reverend Francis, give us your thoughts as well. My last thoughts are... 4,000 young people served families in 2014, 2,000 of which are children between the ages of 5 and 18. Mm -hmm. That's the impact that we've had uh, over over, over just in one year with a very small staff. Mr. Davis is an example of uh, the kind of support that our program offers to families Mm -hmm. um, in the prevention end. Um, we tend to only hear in our community uh, of, of the negatives. We don't hear about the success stories like Mr. Davis, who come through our agency doors all the time and go on to college and get successful careers and, and go on about their lives. And We never hear those stories. We only hear the news, the negative news reports. Yes. Uh, and people ask questions, and what are you agencies doing? Yeah, we, Imagine what the stories would be if agencies like ours were not here. <laughs> serving families every day. What will become of those young people uh, during after school and summertime and those teenagers who are looking for a place of support and holistic? Our center, our agency, an agency like ours, provide them with that to help them go on to success. Well, I, I just really say to God be the glory and may you have another hundred, over hundred years. How yes. About that? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's good news. Well, I just like to thank both of you, my guests today, Mr. Joshua Ray Davis, the president of the board of directors of Youth and Family Center. And of course, Mr. Rodney Francis, the executive director of Youth and Family Center. You all have been a blessing to the show today, to the CBC thank radio you. show. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hi, I'm Angelia Bills, Vice President of Communications for the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and I'm glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to have on our show today, Mrs. Angela Claibon, the Chief Executive Officer of the Myrtle Hillier Davis Comprehensive Health Center, LLC. We had such a great time this past weekend. We're going to talk about that and some other things about Myrtle Hillier Davis. So I want to welcome back to the CBC radio show, Mrs. Angela Claibon. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am great. I am great. You know, I'm going to ask you a question, don't you? Yes. What is it? (laughs) Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Uh, yes, it is, and I am rejoicing in it. All right, all right. Yes, you are. Well, let me ask you, have you gotten your rest from that wonderful gospel brunch we just had this past weekend? 
Well, not quite. It was an event, uh, but it was a beautiful event. I'm almost there. Um, uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, we did have an incident, which I would just like to uh, ask if you all can lift up uh, someone for us in prayer. Um, we lost uh, a participant, our van driver, uh, actually uh, passed away and had a heart attack the day of our event mm -hmm. and I just want to lift his family up in prayer yes. and um, ask that God uh, shield them and protect them in this moment of grief yes. uh, so that actually happened on the day of our event and so we had to struggle with transportation but God was good he showed up on time and we were able to work it out but just to lift that family up in prayer first and foremost indeed indeed you know uh, as you say we were able to work it out yes we were were. And, and, and it really, it's just a testament to God because when folks come together on a, on a common ground for a cause as such as what it was, you know, people really, really are a blessing to each other, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, yes. And now, I want to tell you, uh, Mrs. Claiborne, the lineup that you had for the gospel entertainment, it was stellar, wasn't it? It sure was. It sure was. And I just thank God for that. Uh, last year, we had an excellent lineup. And this year, uh, many of our employees and board members, they uh, really enjoyed our uh, first event. And some of them came out and said, you know what, Ms. Claiborne, I can do this, too. <laughs> and I was hesitant. But Miss June Macon showed up and showed Ooh, out. Oh my goodness! It's truly anointed. She blessed my spirit and the spirit of those that participated, and also our chief medical officer, uh, Doctor E. Took her uh, daughter, who was fourteen. Uh, that was the young lady who uh, sang, and the young women, and then they did the. Um, Praise dance. Yes. Wow. Yes. That young lady is talented. Oh, yes, she was. Uh, she asked for the opportunity, and she did an excellent job. Now, we did have to ask her to step down because she <laughs> thought she had her own private concert going. <laughs> Uh, and we were enjoying it, and we didn't have enough time for it, but oh, we were so blessed. I learned some things about the talent of the employees who are servants, how many of them are serving the Lord and really doing an awesome job out there in the community. It was beautiful. It was. Uh, the the youth group that you mentioned was all for praise, and I tell you, those young folks, they blessed me too. Everybody in there was like, oh my goodness. It was wonderful. And then I understand the last uh, uh, group uh, was the uh, Fairfax um, Church Men's Choir. And I believe one of your board members is a part of that, wasn't he? Yes, uh, Mr. Jethro Funberry. He uh, serves on our board and uh, he actually serves on our finance committee as well. He was directing the men. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, and he sang two solos, so uh, we were blessed. I, I mean, it's just amazing how many people that, um, uh, to me, as I stated in my early interview, been in this position as a position of service. Mm -hmm. And uh, before I step out the door every day, I pray and ask for protection and guidance. Mm -hmm. And to know that this is that type of environment and that we have so many people that work in this organization that um, serve the Lord and just anointed and for our board members as well. It's just a blessing for our organization. It really is. Uh, you know, as we mentioned in one of our previous interviews that Myrtle Hillier Davis is a legacy organization and what, how encouraging it must have been for you to know that you have uh, in, the, in the service of your employees uh, that type of spirit, that type of service that's really being passed down through generations. Yes, it has. It has always been uh, from our board chairs and our previous CEOs. Uh, but and, and so I have um, some big shoes to fill. I have to make sure, uh, but I'm okay. It's, um, it's easy for me. I have to make sure I stay anointed and linked to my Heavenly Father, and I will because that's who I am and that's what I do. So that's an easy part of my job, uh, just staying true to the cause. Uh, but the event itself, uh, people are still talking about yes. it. Um, they want to make sure that they are prepared for next year. <laughs> uh, and um, 
We'll see if the board votes to continue. I'm quite sure they will. They've already spoken about it. Yes, yes. And, you know, one thing that uh, I want to say, it the, the purpose, yes, we had a phenomenal time, but the ultimate purpose of the event was to raise funds to help offset uh, folks who might not have insurance or who, uh, you know, who are in a situation where they can't can't pay. So that was the purpose of the fundraiser to help those people. And I, I just think that was wonderful. Yes, it was. Uh, this year we had a target group um, for our health center. Um, Medicaid did not expand. And for adults, adult dental services, uh, that's a service that's not covered. Mm-hmm. We have a huge uninsured uh population of adults and uh, need a lot of care, and they can't make their co so we raise funds for that particular population. Every day here at the health center, our community uh, suffers so bad with lack of dental care. We have, on an average, 10 to 15 individuals that walk in and uh, can't find anywhere else to go, and we try to fit those persons in with our appointed persons. And of those persons that walk in in pain and and needing uh, urgent health care services, dental health care services, many of them really even lack their copay and definitely can't afford to uh, purchase antibiotics or um, uh, pain medication to deal with those symptoms. So that was our earmark for this year, to yes. take care of those um, individuals and in that and the patients so they will not have to struggle with trying to even pay their minimum copay that may be required or uh, obtain their medication. So. That's right. You know, that's a concern that no one in America should have, that they to know that they can get quality health care. And, you know, Murder Hillier Davis has been doing that. Tell us about the locations that you have throughout the city, Mrs. Claiborne. Uh, we have three locations. Our main uh, site here at 5471 Dr. Martin Luther King um, It's a facility. It's about 48,000 square feet. We serve close to 700 people uh, daily that walk through this facility. Wow. Uh, we have an additional site. Uh, we call it our Homer G. Phillips site. Uh, it's 5451 uh, Whittier. And we service there about two to 300 individuals. And, yes, it's linked to the Legacy Hospital, Homer G. Phillips. Uh, so we've been there at that location since 2005, and our other site is our Riverview uh, site, which is called Florence Hill, and that one is 2425 Riverview, and we serve the same amount at Homer G, all of the uh, same services, primary care, dental, behavior health, uh, laboratory, radiology, pediatrics, women's health. Uh, we duplicate uh, services at all three. So when you attend um, any one of our sites, you receive the same quality services. I want to say that I'm sure the same quality services. I believe that when the folks came together uh, for the gospel brunch, you know, that was prevalent on their mind to come together. Uh, You know, the cost of a ticket, which was minimal uh, compared to all that was done and provided. The food was delicious. The service was delicious. The show was stellar. I just don't know what more we could have asked for. Do you? Uh, no, except give praise. <laughs> give praise for the blessing. Uh, yes, it turned out to be uh, an awesome event. You know, as I stated, at first we had a little hiccup there uh, with our transportation. Sure. But um, it, it turned out to be an, an awesome event. Uh, it did. It did. Uh, one of the other parts, um, our patients, um, we have met about three or four organizations that donated tables. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to provide 30 individuals um, uh, tickets to attend the event, and we uh, gave those out to our patients. So that was a huge part of our event as well. They really, really were very grateful and thankful. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And the event. what that also did, uh, Mrs. Claiborne, was just even, I'm sure they're already raving about the services at Murder Hillier Davis, but it just helped them even uh, more in talking to, to the community about what you do, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yep, they really helped us. Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was I was saying, you know, uh, as I emceed it, I, I had so much fun. I felt like a kid. It was Ooh. just a Holy Ghost time. I really enjoyed myself. Hey, doing you it. did an awesome job. I mean, I, I went into the spirit when you asked us to just really, uh, really just show our thanks for uh, this event and just being able to bring the talent. Yes. It's a gift to even have the ability to bring people together to praise. That's a blessing. Isn't it? And so uh, I just want to say uh, thank you for doing an awesome job for us. Uh, the, sing- the singing was good, 
But, Lord, you know you are anointed. When you start talking about that word and we all got up to shout about it. <laughs> well, you know what? It's not hard to, to talk about Jesus and get inside. All you got to do is say the name. <laughs> Ooh. So we were in church for a minute. For, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all right, too. That's all right. Well, I know that the 46th anniversary of Murder Hillier Davis is fast approaching, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Our, 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 we have been in business for 46 years, and we will be celebrating uh, that accomplishment on November the 5th at the Chase. Uh, we have a guest speaker, Bill DeWitt, the owner of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. He will come and uh, speak to the community about how to uh, help the community in a time of need and talk about how his organization supports uh, the community as well. So that's a huge blessing for us. Uh, and we have several other persons, but basically uh, we just want to go out and tell our story, let persons know what we have accomplished this year and some of our goals. Uh, our goal, which is uh, huge, uh, to build three new facilities. The facilities that we're in, uh, our vision in five years is to transition those into state-of-the-art facilities. And so we work wow. really hard on that. Our patients deserve, as we stay, the quality service and the best of the best. So. Uh, and even show and ve and reveal to the community how our new clinics will look. Mm, wow, wow, I'm excited. Well, I know November 10th is, you know, it may it's sound November for... Ma'am? November 5th, I'm sorry. November 5th. Mm -hmm. It may sound like it's far away, but it's really not. If folks just have general questions, because one thing I can say, if they have attended either of your gospel brunches, they know the type of class and the type of atmosphere and setting that they're going to have. And so we know that the Chase event is going to be just fantastic. So is there a phone number? Just if folks have questions, that it, you know, they might want to be a part of it or volunteer or anything. Anything like that. Okay, they can reach us at 314-367-5820, extension 2314, and just ask uh, for information on our 46th anniversary, and we will be glad to share it and send you information on how you can purchase a ticket and how you can contribute to our uh, services as well. Great, great, great. And what's your um, website address as well? Uh, www.mhdchc.org, which stands for Myrtle Higgard Davis Comprehensive Health Centers. Wonderful. We're just about out of time. Is there anything else you'd like to say from your heart this morning to the community? Thank you all for supporting Myrtle Hillier Davis. I do appreciate it. Our patients appreciate it. It was a wonderful event, and thank you for your prayers. I know you all prayed for us because it turned out awesome. Thank you. All righty. It surely did. Thank you so much, Mrs. Angela Claybon, the Executive Director of Myrtle Hillier Davis Comprehensive Health Centers, Inc. Inc. <laughs> all right. All right. Bless you. Thank you for being Thank on the you. show this Thank morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. J.C. Supper Club is one of St. Louis's finest restaurants, lounge, and ballroom, featuring signature cuisine, great hospitality, and entertainment. Host your next event in our beautiful ballroom. J.C. Supper Club, located at 9053 Riverview. For more info, call 314-755-1923. That's 314-755-1923. See you soon at J.C. Supper Club. Hello, St. Louis. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas of the Christian Business Connection inviting you to travel with me to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas on Wednesday, August 19th through Saturday, August 22nd. Give me a call at 314-270-2225 for more information on how you can be a part of this amazing trip to the T.D. Jakes Megafest in Dallas, Texas. I look forward to traveling with you. Hi, this is Michael McMillan, President and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis. Glad to be here with Evangelist Nona Thomas on the Christian Business Connection radio show. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and I told you at the top of the program we were going to be speaking this morning with Apostle C. V. LaFleur. Glory to God for this woman of God and the vision that the Lord has given her for the upcoming Harvest of Glory International Churches and Ministries Holy Convocation. So I want to welcome back to the CBC Radio Show Apostle C. V. LaFleur. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning. Now, you know I'm going to ask you this question, right? 
Right. And the question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? And let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's right. That's right. You know the answer to that. You knew that. (laughs) Well, I tell you, Apostle, we're so excited. The buzz in the St. Louis metropolitan area. We're talking about the Holy Convocation that is coming up September 9th through the 11th. You know, I just want to ask you, Apostle, you know, you've been obedient to the word of God. You've been in ministry now. Uh, How many years, Apostle? Oh, 26 years as a pastor, 13, 14 years as a missionary, many, many years. Yes, yes, and the Lord has blessed you continuously through it. And the Holy Convocation, tell us what that means to the metropolitan area. Uh, For the metropolitan area, which is our theme is moving forward, Mm -hmm. uh, God has brought our ministry which is, this is a biannual Holy Convocation. Mm-hmm. It's brought us to a greater season of freedom in Him. And we have always had, seen miracles of healing, and powerful demonstrations on a small, you know, a real small spectrum in the village of Brooklyn. But God who has made all things new, has enlarged our territory where the world is now seen. We are harvesting the glory of God, you know, to make a difference in the world. Yes, yes. And, you know, that's really really what it's about, you know. We used to say, uh, you know, it's time out for church as usual. We've been, you know, folks have been saying that for years. But even when it was being said then, it was way past how it should should be. Because we don't have time for the usual. We don't have time just for church. We need to see a powerful move of God. Don't you agree, Apostle? I fully agree. And I'm saying uh, we're not going back. We're moving ahead because we have declared and decreed the past is over. We are seeing the operations and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which has not been foreign to us for uh, over 50 years or more. But there's a new upcoming ministries that have not had this mighty move. Uh, they're trying to operate in it, but they operate in it not in a holy way mm-hmm. and we're looking for signs and wonders yeah yeah to make believers of God, you know christ we, we we have to have this move of righteousness yes where the word of god is transforming lives to become new that's right that's right so i say we're moving forward that's it fellowship that's- of churches and ministries multi-denominational mm-hmm so there's no limits, no boundaries, mm-hmm. with the purpose of salvation in man. Also, I use this scripture as uh, used in Ephesians 4, for the perfecting. One scripture says, equipping of the saints mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, mm-hmm. till we all do what? Come into the unity of the faith. And the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm-hmm. And everyone needs to be in this move. It's not that they have not known it, but they were going to see it in a greater fashion, a way where people know, hey, God has arrived and he has shown his glory. And I, I've been enlightened to know the hope of my calling. And so I'm expecting God come with a mighty move. Yes. And yes. he has always come into a mighty move. It has shown his glory. And God has said, greater, greater is coming. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. this area and mm-hmm. all the churches that's coming around, you know, other states. And I'm excited because this going to be held at, because, you know, I tried to go in the direction of what our meeting was saying, but God had originally said to have this at the CMC building, which is the Crossroads Multi-Purpose Center, which is 8601 California Drive. It's really, if you go 76th Street off of St. Clair in East St. Louis, 
and make that right and go into that frontage road. It says CMCB on the on the building. Mm-hmm. And he said this. And I'm saying, oh, and I try to get away from what God said because we usually have this type of event at the Collinsville Convention Center. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. happened? Just as God said, that's what I had to do. That's what we had to do. And so God is bringing in some, some people. He's giving other people opportunities so he can show his glory to everyone. No one is excluded. we invite everyone who can come and have this great, glorious experience. And it will not be disappointed. That's it. I, I, I tell you, uh, we're counting down the days. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Apostle C.V. LaFleur, Harvest of Glory, International Churches and Ministries, and St. Elizabeth Temple. Now, Apostle, this is going to be held on September 9th through the 11th. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 p.m. nightly. It's going to be held at the Crossroads Multi-Purpose Center. That's at 8601 California Drive, Caseyville, Illinois. And it's definitely going to be something that you don't want to miss. We want you to save that date to mark it down. Now, nightly, there is, there's no admission cost. This is free admission to come on in. Am I right, Apostle? You're right. Yeah, and yeah. we're having our souvenir books would just be $5. And if, a, if a, you want to be one of our vendors, you could call in and get information about how much the rental fee for your table for three days, or maybe you just want it for one day. And, um, and we're you know, having our souvenir books, too. Exactly. You know, we have our- I want to add to that, Apostle. I, I want to add to that, if I could, for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, the booths, the vendor booths, you're doing really just an exceptional deal on those. You can get one day, and I'll go ahead and say the cost because it's a phenomenal cost. You can go ahead for one day and uh, pay $50 for your booth, or you can do all three days for $100. Now, what's key about this is space is limited. So folks got to hurry and give us a call so that they can get those booths. Am I right, Apostle? You're right. Now, give us the phone number that you want people to call for more information to get those booths or if they want to be a part of the souvenir book. Well, they can call at 618-219-0343 or 618-661-6051. Or they could just email me at cvlafleur at gmail.com. Or St. Elizabeth 303 at sbcglobal.net. Yes. And they can also go to the CBC website. Uh, just go to the CBC radio show dot com and you will see information on there as well about the Holy Convocation. Apostle, we're just about out of time. Is there anything else that you'd like to say from your heart about this phenomenal event that is coming up soon? Well, I want to say be in consecration with us starting August the 3rd. We're not say just fasting. We are limiting ourselves with food. We're not eating till we're full. We're not watching TV all day long. We can stand on Facebook. And, and we're seeking God and praying around the clock. Mm. We want to be a part of this great, phenomenal, glorious occasion. Just tune in with us in the spirit, praying and trusting God for a change in your ministry and our ministry for us to do a mighty work in the St. Louis metropolitan area. There's a lot of unchurched people we need to reach. Amen. Amen. Well, I tell you, it's been an honor, as usual, having you on the program, Apostle. And we're going to have you back as we count down the days to the Harvest of Glory, International Churches and Ministries, Holy Convocation, September 9th through the 11th, 7 p.m. nightly. Thank you so much, Apostle C.V. LaFleur, for being on the program. And thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. 
Good morning. This is Evangelist Nona Thomas. Did you know that every year in this great nation, it is estimated that more than 100,000 people will die simply because they cannot afford the prescription medication they need? Millions more suffer needlessly, forced to make daily life choices between the prescription medicine they need and food, rent, utilities, child care, transportation, or other important medical needs. RX Outreach believes that no one in this country should have to choose between the prescription medication they need and life's necessities. No one. Affordable medication is a right. As the nation's largest fully licensed nonprofit pharmacy, RX Outreach serves only low income individuals and families. As a nonprofit organization, RX Outreach is committed to to honoring God by serving others. The RX Outreach Program provides access to more than 300 medications that are available in more than 600 different strengths. Qualification is easy, and RX Outreach patients only pay the low, affordable price for the prescription medication they need. RX Outreach patients do not pay enrollment fees, membership fees, handling fees, or standard shipping fees. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 to find out if you qualify. RX Outreach also understands that this problem is larger than just one organization. If you are listening and it's not you who needs assistance, someone near you does. They go to your church, live in your neighborhood. They are your family. Go to rxoutreach.org or call 888-796-1234 for access to affordable medication. Hello, church. This is Andre House from Thailand's Best Healing and Weight Loss Ministry. And my heart goes out to God's children who are dealing with these health issues, taking these pills 15, 20, 30 years, only to find themselves with the same problems today that they had 15 or 20 years ago. There's something not right with that picture. When God's word tells us, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. Well, if God wants us healed, if God wants us to be made whole, one or two things is happening. Either God is a healer and he is not doing his job, or we're putting something in our body that is just not right. Well, I'm a firm believer that God is doing his job. So that means there's something that we're putting in our bodies that's just not right, that's prolonging our healing. David says in the book of Psalms 51 verse 7, Lord, purge me with hyssop that I will be clean. Wash me and I'll be white in the snow. David understood the importance of purging the body. Well, if David understood the importance of purging the body, then we must understand the same thing. What God tells us, I give you medicines from the earth and he that is wise will not turn away from these. Saints, we have got to turn back to God's medicines of the earth so that our healing will manifest. Bring me your arthritis, gout, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, acid reflux, hair loss, cancer, obesity. It don't matter. Just bring it. Valencia Clay of St. Louis, Missouri was taking 26 pills a day. 90 days later, she She's not taking none. Samantha Howard of West Helena, Arkansas lost 204 pounds and you can too. Mr. Jerry Garrett, who owns the upholstery shop on Brentwood Boulevard, defeated diabetes in less than 90 days. In the last five years, God has used this little healing ministry to deliver over 28,000 of his children off all those drugs and medicines that just don't work. For more information, call us up at 314 314- 306-9017. Once again, church, 314-306-9017. Or visit us on the way up at youhousehealingherbs.com. Thank you. God bless you. We love you. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to have on the program a dear friend of the Christian Business Connection. We're so excited to have Evangelist Patricia Purley on our program this morning. And she's going to talk about something that's going to be just simply a great blessing to your health. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Evangelist Patricia Purley. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Evangelist Nona. Great is the Lord, and he is truly greatly to be praised. Yes, Hallelujah. he is. Yes, he Hallelujah. is. Well, you know, I, I didn't script you. I ask everybody this question who comes on the show, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, 
oh yes, and I am yet rejoiced, and I am exceedingly glad. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless his holy name. Amen. Well, I know you're excited, and I know you're glad about yes. something that the Lord has yes. definitely given you. We yes. want to talk this morning about Thailand's best healing and weight loss ministry. Yes. Now, I understand these are 100% all natural herbal products. Isn't that right, Evangelist? Yes, ma'am, Evangelist Nona. These are 100% all natural herbs straight from the Thailand, made with alkaline herbs and alkaline, alkaline soil and alkaline water. And this is what God actually spoke of because when we got the word to back us up, Evangelist, that it speaks of in Genesis chapter 1, God mentioned the earth three times in that chapter alone, verse 11, verse 12, and verse 29, speaking of the earth and how he let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed. So when we turn from the medicines and all of these chemicals and pharmaceutical chemicals and toxins that it's like damaging our body and turn back to what God said in his word, the word of truth, we can't lose with that evangelist. What you said, we can't lose with that. <laughs> we can't lose. It's a done deal. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you know, what, what I what I love about your uh, website, uh, t- tell us the name because I simply love it. Uh, well, my website is blessyourhealth.info, and the reason that is, Evangelist, is because in a dream, God gave me nearly three years ago, and he let me know a part of the ministry that he has given me, that it's all to his honor and glory and to his praise, is the healthiness of his people. There are too many people, regardless of the age these days, God said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper be in in health, good health, great health, health of favor, and prosper and be blessed even as your soul prosper. So God wants his children to be healthy. And with these medicines and these pharmaceuticals, people's body is getting worse and worse. You're adding to another sickness added to the body or whatever medicine that they're giving you for whatever side effect you got from the previous pill you was taking. <laughs> My, Makes Lord. More sense. <laughs> My Lord. You know, how did God give you the vision for, uh, uh, for doing this, Evangelist Pearlie? Actually, Evangelist, I am so humbly honored that God would even give me this to represent him in a dream on a private duty case. Once I did nursing, that God actually gave me to be a senior private duty nurse. I was actually ministering to my little lady that God had blessed me to take care of. And God had given me in a dream and a vision. He let me know that you would be a part of a healing ministry. That healing comes from Jehovah. Rafa, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that paid the finished price, not only for our sins, but that our bodies would be healthy. And so I began to pursue that. And to this point, this very year, 2015, the Lord let me know this is the year that it will be manifested. And not only that, I actually graduated from this class the end of March 2015. And God, to Him be all the glory, blessed me to be the top number one salesman uh, in April this very year in the name of Jesus and to his glory because of what he is doing through these earths in order to bless his children to defeat whatever illnesses that the enemy is trying to attack them with. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. How can people get in contact with you? Uh, they can people can get in contact with me by calling my number. They can go to my um Website, my website is www.blessyourhealth.info. That's blessyourhealth.info. They can call me at 314-725-6140 or 314-306-9017 for more information. All right. Give us those phone numbers one more time again, would you? Yes, ma'am. Those phone numbers are 314 314- Seven two five six one four zero three one four three zero six. 9017. Wonderful. Now we're just getting started. You could, you're going to come back on the show several more times to talk about Thailand's best healing and weight loss, right? 
Yeah, I most certainly am. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Well, we just want to thank you for being a part thank of you. our radio show today. The Lord is using you to do some great things to help our people. Thank you so thank much you. for being thank on the show. You. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing? I would just like to say thank you for allowing me to give what God has given to me, not only to bless me and all of those that he has used in order to minister to his people concerning these all-natural earths, but those that are to come in and use the wisdom that God has given us, that God has put everything here that we need because he has let us know the body actually heals itself. And through these earths that he has given us, that we love, we believe, we stand on his word, Genesis chapter 1, verse 11, verse 12, and verse 29. It lets us know that God is faithful to his word because he created it, he formulated it, and he is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Evangelist Patricia A. Purley of Thailand's Best Healing and Weight Loss Ministry. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, Evangelist, and God bless you, ma'am. All righty. Friends, haven't we had a great time this morning? I tell you, I give God the glory every single week for what he does here on the CBC radio show. You know, I encourage you to listen to my Wednesday show, The Midweek Message with Evangelist Nona Thomas from 4 to 415 right here on Hallelujah 1600. Be encouraged and tune in to that show as well. I want to thank all my guests. You are wonderful for being on the program today. Stellar, stellar in excellence, all of you are. Reverend Rodney Francis, Mr. Joshua Davis, Mrs. Angela Claibon, Apostle C.V. LaFleur, Evangelist Patricia Purley. Thank you all so much for all you do to make this world a better place. Thank you for listening, my friends. If you'd like to be interviewed on the CBC radio show, give me a call, 314-270-2225. As always in closing, to God. God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.